Yes, I'm Howdy. crazy. I sure am itching for a little excitement soon. True fact. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. Shit! All right, that's enough. Move along now. Damn. Wish I could trade my shit. Please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwood. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? Well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. <laughs> Welcome Bye. back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks a lot for joining me. My name's Mac. Uh, Zarpa Morgan got enough guns. So... In the last episode, we robbed a load of Braithwaite's horses on the word of Mr. Gray. Um, so it looks like the um, favour's going to be returned in this episode. Where are you going, then? All right, let's get this over with. So we got Sean in the wagon with us, so there'll be you plenty of commentary. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat. I pull it clean out of his ass. A <laughs> smug fucker. Okay. He's an absolute legend. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Using God. that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. God, imagine what well, it does to your guts. Why try fitting my boot up your hook? No, you snotty old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Those here really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, <laughs> easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Try to sell the shiny back to them. They were on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you. <laughs> Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I <laughs> can talk a dog off a meat wagon. He certainly can. All right, then. Yeah, you just wonder if uh, this plan's going to work, really. They're sort of playing the two families off against each other. Yeah. Uh, they're going to twig it sometime. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So we'll head towards the... Uh, Gray's Mansion. Uh, when we're a bit nearer, we will see you there. So, welcome back. So, on the way, Arthur decided to hide in the back of the wagon because obviously he's met the Greys and uh, didn't want to be recognised. So, Sean's going to be doing all the talking to get in this place. 
Right, we can just see from Arthur's point of view in the back boring. of the wagon. I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, of friend? Here. There's uh, all the moonshine. Uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you no know, harm. <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, 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 before the officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Okay, drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. Right, so the guy's on the coach with us. He's riding shotgun. So he's showing Sean where to take it. <coughs> Hamish. So we'll let Sean uh, give him all the blarney. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, when they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. All right, you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <coughs> right, okay, so the other fellow's going to get drunk on the moonshine. So we've got to take out the gods silently. Out in Donegal. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because of some nice and quiet. All the money. They can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take this guy okay, out. Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> Beauty. Okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. I'll drag him in. So we're going to set fire to all the bloody fields. How are you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was barb running down a matter of houses. Burn oh, quietly. Right, so we're going to follow Sean. We've got to set fire to all the fields with the moonshine. And there's plenty of guards, so we'll have to watch out for them. Oh, oh hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. 
Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. <laughs> so he's going to go and take him out. I wonder if we could go and get that wagon after it, get the payroll. Beauty, so he's what? gone. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Right, let's do I this. Stay out of trouble. Okay, so we're going to douse the fields. I'm going to watch out for the guards. Right, we'll head in. So here we go, it's not pouring. Alright, next. Right, we'll try and stay in the tobacco plants so they won't be able to see us as much. Oh god, this is awesome. So there's just a guard over there. Hopefully he won't be able to see us. Should be enough for here. Well, we'll head back over that way. All right, so the scar just there. Bloody hell, that's close. Well, he's stopping there. I think we'll let him go past if he's going the other way. We'll come back in a minute see what he does and then we'll get across and do the other ones here he comes oh yeah let's just stop there come on you bugger right we'll get across the thing Do this one. Yeah, I've never had moonshine. I don't think I ever will either. Imagine the headache. I think cider's bad enough. That's good. Beauty, so there's a couple more over here. Keep an eye. Oh, there's a guard there. Let's just see where he stops. There's one over on the left there, but I think if we just dive across, we'll be okay once he turns around. So there's one just over there. So we'll do this one. Right, we'll start pouring. That should do it. Beauty. And then we'll do this one. We're doing all right here. Uh, if you've watched my videos, you know I'm not very good at the stealthy missions. I'm a bit of a clumsy bugger. But uh, yeah, we're doing alright up to now. I think there's a, oh God, there's a guard just there. So we'll see where he stops and that. And we'll head across to that one. Right, when he turns around, we'll uh, dive across. Yeah, so we're going to torch all the uh, tobacco plants. Here, yeah, right into that field. We'll do this one. It's not pouring. So I think Sean's sort of doing all the barn and stuff. This might be the less field, right? So we've got to head back to Sean. Just check on the map just to get an idea where we're heading. 
Right, so Sean's just right over there. Okay. I'm just wondering, I think we might go back the way we came as we head across. Could do that. And then down. Yeah, we might do that. Head a bit to the right. Okay. We've got our plan. There's a guard just there. I think we'll head over this way a little bit. Oh God, this one just there. Yeah, I think we'll head the way we came. It's a beautiful right song. Board. Right, we're the right way now, so we'll just keep going across till we get to Sean in the bar. I can't tell you how bloody nervous I get when I'm doing these bloody missions. It's only a game. So we need to just head over there. Where's the nearest guard? So there's one there. There's one just over there as well. So I think we'll head this way a bit. him to go. It's all about the waiting game. Bit of patience. Right, we'll head across. Right, okay, so we'll head across here into this one. I think the barn's just over there. Wasn't sure where the nearest guard was. Is that one there? Right. Oh, is that Sean? I think he's going to go and get him. Right, so he's taking him out. Beauty. Get across to Sean. Or you can give this a quick dose as well. Right, so Sean's just dousing it with moonshine. It sets a light. Right. You go, Arthur. Light her up. Right, let's get the fire bottle. What's your got? <laughs> now let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. You pay for this! Jesus, right, let's light these up. Jesus. <laughs> Bloody hell, this is mad. Bloody fire starters. Alright, so we're taking out the guards now. What gun have we got? Yeah, we'll go with the bolt, right bolt action, I think. Right, let's get over here. Get a bit of cover. Sean, right, we'll get to Sean. Come on! Next one, you're right, let's get a bit of cover. Jeez, so there's one over here. Nice. You wait! You wait, wait, got it this time! One over there. Oh, right in the leg. Ah, this is bloody madness! Ah. Every word surrounded us. This is a goddamn mess. <laughs> One just over here. Take him out. I'm there. Oh man, up ahead! There goes out right out of here. Right, we'll move up. Move with Sean. 
Sean, he knows where he's going. All right, where Around is here. Let's take these guys out. Oh God, coming in! Let's go! Jesus! There's more of them! You bright boy, stop! Oh, that. Oh, shit! Bloody hell, the fields are going up. Say you better get us paid real well for this. <laughs> Bloody right. You're done for, bastard. What the hell's he? There's another one somewhere. I'm all very this is what it's all about. Oh, I bet you're having fun. Protection rifle, it's got a right kick to it. So watch we don't get barbecued. See, there it is. Maybe they haven't unloaded that cash yet. Right, so we're gonna get this wagon with the cash in. Alright, come on, we'll take those horses. Let's do it. Well yeah, see if the payroll is actually in there. Hurry up. Oh boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Right, but let's go. Let's, let's get out of here. Look at here, you get them horses free, Marker. Come on. Oh boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Right, but let's go. Look at here. Right, let's get out of here. Come on, Sean. Yeah. Gary, let's get out of here. Alright, let's go. Follow me. Don't slow down for nothing. There's going to be more coming at us, isn't there? Like, yeah, look at the fire. Oh, man, up ahead. Stop it. Put a bullet in it, Go to hell. Right, we'll keep riding. Straight out the main gate. Come on. <laughs> Bloody hell, what a mission that was. Ray. Jesus, that turned into a right party. You call that a party? <laughs> that break we had got our money's worth, Ollie. Let's just get out of here first. Yeah. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are riding that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Yeah, I think so. Sure. Let's get back to camp. Yeah, it's a dodgy ground to play on this, playing the two families off against each other. Uh, Dutch seems to know what he's doing. Look at that bloody hell. That's the Grey's tobacco going up in smoke. Here we are. Home sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. Right, so we've got a good bit of money for that. I think we can take the bandana off now, can't we? Right, so Sean's going to take all the money to Hosea. 
So I think that's where we'll leave this episode. Uh, that was a bloody good one, that. I enjoyed it. Uh, so thanks a lot for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you did like what you saw and you would consider subscribing, uh, that'd be absolutely bonza. But uh, until the next one, stay safe and take it easy.